Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, I'll be going through the UK prices that have been confirmed for the Age of Sigmar Battle Forces. I'll also have a look at the prices for all the products we saw in yesterday's preview, and wait till you see how much they're asking for those dice. I haven't got the prices in US dollars and euros yet, but I have converted it based on what they usually charge, so that's going to be included in the video too, and... Firestorm Games have sent me another bonus discount offer to share with you and that's going to be featured later on in the video, so look out for that. Okay, so here we go, it's the Knight Slaughter Coven first. This is going to be £130 and they've kept the price the same for all of them. So if you're looking to get the Gloom Spike Gits, the Nighthorn, any of the others, they're all going to be the same price. So that's really interesting. Don't forget, I've done the videos if you want to check those out to see the full points and cost breakdown for savings and see which ones are better value. But really cool that these are all going to be around the same price. So in the UK, it's £130. And what I've done is I've taken that UK price of £130 and usually... The US price isn't a straight exchange rate, but it works out normally to about 1.7 times the amount of the UK pound into dollars and about 1.3 times the amount into euros. So let's have a look at those. So multiplying it by 1.7 and 1 1.3, and we get €221.169. So it's going to be around that price. Obviously, this is just an estimate based on what they've charged in the past so yeah expect it to be somewhere around those prices but we'll get those confirmed as the week goes on for sure but the UK price is definitely confirmed I've seen the price list so that's the price we'll be looking to pay then of course we've got our discounts on that from our friendly local game stores and online retailers like Firestorm Games 2 saving up to 20% getting it much closer to that £100 mark if you'd like to see the points comparison and the cost, which is pretty close, I went for 125, so it's not far off. That video's up for Age of Sigmar. Also, the same, a similar video for 40k, but I think the two box sets at the top, the Imperial Fist and the Raven Guard, I think they're going to be a different price. That's my hunch, so we'll wait and see on that. While we're here, let's quickly go through the other models included in yesterday's preview. And we've got the Eye of Zinch, the Cursling, that's going to be £21. The Scenari Enlightener, that one's going to be £19, a little bit cheaper for that one. Then we've got the Warcry Sundered Fate box set, £110 altogether. And you're going to get the terrain board, the book cards and the two awesome warbands. So that's good. I'm really happy they've kept it at that price. That's a really good move. I couldn't see the price for Ravage Lands Narwood Watch Camp, so we'll have to wait and see what's happening with that one. But the Horns of Hushoot, if you want to buy those separately now, £37.50. Rotmire Creed, they're going to come in at £37.50 as well. You've got the Rotten Ruin Warband Tome for £22. And then we're on to the Return in Warcry Warbands. Now these haven't been featured on that price list, except for some of them that are already on the Games Workshop website, but it does say they're temporarily unavailable. So I don't think these prices are the ones to go by, but the ones we did get to see are the Spire Tyrants at £32.50. Then there's the Tarantulas Brood, Knight Shadowstalkers and Dark Oath Savages at 35 But I think we're going to have to wait to get these prices confirmed because the ones that are returning, like Splintered Fan, Corvus Cabal, etc. They're not going to come with the cards. You're not going to get the ability cards or the fighter cards with those. And that includes the others like the Tarantulas Brood as well. So if you want those, you can get them as a free download and print them off if you wanted to. The same goes for the monsters. We're going to have to wait a little bit longer to get these confirmed. The price for the Chaotic Beast at the moment is 28, Fomeroid Crusher 26, but no price for Mindstealer, Spheranx, or the Ogroid Myrmidon. So I would, I would say these aren't correct and certainly not confirmed until they're on the list at least. On the video I posted yesterday, Sick Jeb left a comment suggesting these might only be available as Games Workshop direct orders only. I think he might have a good point there. That could be the case. We may only be able to get them directly from Games Workshop, in which case expect them to be priced quite high and then with no discounts like we would get from our friendly local game stores. So we'll look out for that and I'll certainly update you once I find out for sure what's going on. 
All right, now we're on to the dice, and I can't believe they're asking £25 for these dice. It's insane. So there we go. If you like them, though, and you're happy to pay, of course, they're worth what you're willing to pay for them. But £25 for the dice that don't look printed very well when you see the close-up here again. I went on a bit about it yesterday, so I, won't, I don't have to repeat it. But yeah, not great printing, um, not great designs haven't put a lot of investment into this for sure so yeah 25 pound very expensive worst deal of the whole lot i think next up is the dungeon bowl deathmatch this is the expansion the gaming supplement for dungeon bowl this is going to be 55 pounds altogether and you can see here exactly what's going to be included in that then there's the spike 2022 almanac at 27 pound 50 then there's those Forge World products, but I haven't got the prices for those, so we just have to wait till those go up on the Forge World website. But I think you can certainly look back and see the prices of the older ones that came out in the previous weeks, and the prices are going to be very similar for those, I'm sure. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my sponsor, Firestorm Games, for helping me to keep going with these daily videos. I'll put a link in the description down below where you can save up to 20% on all your hobby products, not just Warhammer, all the other games that are available too. And here's a special code. So if you've made it this far in the video, you can use this code now, add that at checkout, save an additional 5% on top of those already great savings. And as this is going to be valid until the end of November, we might just get there in time to be able to use this for those Christmas Battleforce box sets. There we go. That's all the prices now for the Battleforce box sets and some of the others that we saw for the other games in yesterday's preview. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it helpful. I'd love to know what you think about this. Are you happy with the price? Do you think it's fair for what you get? Let me know down in the comments below. Looking forward to reading them today. And thanks so much for watching. Hope you liked it. If you did, please hit the like button. Subscribe for more videos like this one. And don't forget to hit that notification bell too to keep up to date to join me here next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. A massive thank you to my Patreon supporters who've been there right from the beginning supporting me to grow the channel. I really appreciate it and I'd love it if you consider joining my Patreon and so I'll put a link to that in the description down below too.